Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the RV Atlas. Today we're going to do our first cook on the Omnia stovetop oven. And frankly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never baked in my life. I don't bake in the oven at home. I'm hoping this goes well, but it might go poorly and maybe that'll be part of the fun. So we're starting simple with some store-bought cinnamon rolls. Let's go. So thankfully there are a lot of YouTube videos out there that are giving me some help as I'm trying to get started here with the Omnia stovetop oven. So everybody says that you need to preheat the bottom um, before you actually put on what you're cooking. So let's light up the camp stove here and we're going to preheat this on high for three minutes. They recommend that you do that in the instructions for the Omnia and several YouTubers have also suggested it. So let's get the oven cranked up and we're using the Camp Chef today. This thing goes really high, but I guess I'll put it on high as instructed. They say that the first time you use it, it can smoke a little bit and that's normal. And actually it's just right as I was saying that, it started to smoke. So they said there's nothing wrong with that. Just the oven sort of breaking in. And I'm not gonna go full high here because this stove gets so hot. Uh, and let me put my timer on. I've never even opened a canister of these things before. Is that how you do it, Sean? Like you get in there? You just this a few. Oh, you start here. You feel it when you break it. Peel it like I'm peeling it right now. You yeah, just feel the paper. Just the paper. Total, total novice here yeah, with baking. You're, you're I'm mauling it. it. <laughs> you're knifing the cinnamon buns. There you go. Then twist it. And then twist the top? The whole thing. Oh, look at that. There they go. There's our icing. Let's not lose the icing. That's important. Okay, and I pre-greased the Omni in here so it doesn't stick. So I think we'll put four in. Sounds good to And me. they're going to expand while we cook. Maybe I should have read the directions on these things. I'll, I'll read the directions in a second. Should we do more than four? We have to decide. We only have a minute here. Why not? <laughs> All right, let's put them on. I like cinnamon buns. All right, let's go with six. We can always offer some up to our camping neighbors over here. I'm not going to do eight because they expand and I'm worried they'll all cram up against each other. Okay, so I got another 30 seconds or so before I'm going to want to put this on. and we'll ice them at the end. I guess I should read how long they take. Now Omnia says you should be able to cook anything in the Omnia that you can cook in a regular oven and the time should be about the same. So this is saying, I think it says like 17 minutes. Here's the directions. Okay, 13 to 17 minutes. All right, so I'm going to put these on. It's been three minutes. I'm going to put the top on. And then we're going to go to low. And that is a key thing that I read everywhere with the Omnia. Is that you want to actually cook on low. So you don't burn the bottom of the cinnamon rolls before the tops actually get cooked. Now this, this Camp Chef goes really low. So now I'm worried I'm going to go too low on it. But we'll go to low. I think that that's about, do you think that's about right for low? I think it sounds all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to burn the bottoms. I think, honestly, the great risk of today's episode is that we burn the heck out of the bottoms before the tops get done. So pinch it a little lower. I think it's always safer to go low and cook longer. So let me reset the timer. Stop that initial three minutes. And I'm gonna, I'm thinking about 20 minutes here. And because I'm impatient, I'll probably check it too many times, but maybe we'll take our first look after about 10 minutes. And this is gonna get hot. So we have our little oven mitts here, uh, but we'll come back in about 10. We'll open this up and take a look and see where we're at. Cause we want sort of golden brown cinnamon rolls. I'm thinking it's gonna be more like a 20 minute process. So I totally mauled the icing with my 
Leatherman knife opening this up. Let me get in on that. Should I say it again? No, you're fine. There you go. So can you kind of edit out that part where I'm like jabbing at the cinnamon rolls and looking like a complete idiot? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So there are other accessories that you can get that might help for just a simple bake like this. So there is a thermometer, which I, I have, but I'm not using today. And there's also a non-stick pan as well, because like these cinnamon rolls might stick up against the side of the pan, even though I greased it. But I wanted to just use the base kit oven, because that's what most people are gonna have. And maybe in a future episode, I'll use like that non-stick pan, use the thermometer, use some of the other accessories. But for, day, uh, for today, I'm intentionally keeping it pretty simple. So they say that this little handle gets really hot. It's, it's pretty hot. So they say to use the, uh, the oven mitts, and I have the Omnia branded oven mitts, which are extra good for grabbing the Omnia lid. It's pretty hot. So Omnia actually recommends that you bake something very simple the first time you use it, so that you get used to the temperature on your stove and how that temperature is going to work baking something. So in their directions, they actually say to get like a cheap um, store-bought mix cake. And that's kind of why I did the cinnamon rolls, because if I burn them and mess them up, they're, it's like $2.50 a roll for, for these cinnamon rolls. And the point they're making is don't make some big fancy lasagna dish for your family dinner the first time you use it, because you, you could burn the bottom, not because there's anything wrong with the Omnia, but because you're just not used to the temperature range. Like, I don't really know if I'm low enough right now. Um, we'll see if I burn the bottoms of these cinnamon rolls. The suspense is killing me. All right, so we're at about 12 minutes. I don't think they're gonna be done, but I'm impatient and I want to open this up and see where we're at and I wanna smell them. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, not golden brown yet. I don't think I've burned the bottoms, which is a good sign. So let's close this. I don't know, five more minutes. I'm really playing this by ear. Maybe I'll check again in four minutes, I think. They were actually looking pretty decent in there and they hey. smell really good. They do look really good. That the cinnamon smell is filling the air here at the campsite. It's awesome. So Sean, the camera guy who's behind the camera right now, it, he has made these several times. He just told me, he's kind of critiquing my performance in between takes here. He said that he microwaves this little thing so then he can drizzle this on because it's a, a little bit solid right now. But sadly, since I punctured this, I'm not going to go microwave it because we're afraid it's going to run out. And I don't have a full dishware set in the microwave yet, so I don't have anything to microwave this with. So I think we're just going to like take the spoon and kind of spread it around on top while they're warm and it'll melt that way. Does that work for you, Sean? That works. Okay. We, we, can, we can deal with that. <laughs> High standards for his cinnamon rolls. Okay, so let's open these up and take a look and see where we're at. It's about 15, it's 15 minutes exactly. Okay, turning the stove off because one of them just started to burn a pinch. And I'm hoping that's the only little burnt spot. Little burnt spot. There's little burnt spots where it's touching the inner part, but it's not so bad. So should I put some of the icing on it right now while they're warm so the icing melts? I think so. Mr. Cinnamon Roll Guru Guy. I think that's your best bet. All right. And remember, this is hot, guys. If you're doing this at home, just be careful you don't burn yourself. It's definitely hot. Oh my God, they smell really good. And this is gonna be a real hack job, putting the icing on. I just, I'm not graceful with baking or cooking. I'm good at grilling steaks and doing simple stuff. Ooh, just touch that a little bit. And then of course the icing's gonna drip into the pan a little and that'll be something extra to clean up, so try not to get too messy. I'll have the burnt ones, Sean. When I burn stuff, I always, when I burn stuff and my kids are there, I always eat the burnt, whatever it is. It's like my dad duty. All right, so you can see, you can hear it hitting the pan and it's probably gonna stick a little and make cleanup a little bit harder. So if I had just done the icing outside of the pan, my cleanup would be easier. That's not gonna be too bad. I think that works pretty well, actually. I mean, it's melting. So I think I'm gonna take tongs right now. Oh my God, I wanna eat one of these things. They smell they so smell good. They smell so good. Don't let me forget, I have some milk in the fridge because I want milk with mine. And you don't want milk with yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that uh, tongs will work well here. Guys, That did, those are not sticking. Sean, can you come close? Yeah, I can come close enough. They did not stick. 
And I have the baking rack. I don't think I mentioned that. I'm using the Omnia baking rack, so I am using one of the accessories. So I did cheat a little. I kind of lied before. This is not just the basic kit. I'm really glad that I just reminded to tell you, all you guys that I'm using that baking rack. Now, if I hadn't used the baking rack, I might be getting some more sticking. But these are releasing from that baking rack really nicely, except this last guy right here. He sunk in a little bit. He's gonna get mutilated. Sean, keep the camera rolling. Let's keep this real. This guy stuck a little. I won't look at that. I'll look at the beautiful seven buns that are on the plate. Have to get it off. Oh, we got five perfectly. There you go. So a little bit of sticking on that one. And I think what, no, actually look, it's not that it's stuck. That's not what happened at all. It actually just kind of slided through the baking rack as it was baking and then it expanded. <laughs> and so it's just hard to pull out right now. So that'll be the last bite that we have. Come on, you little bugger. Okay. All right, Sean's gonna come out from behind the camera. We're gonna test these out. They look good and they smell so good. And that was really simple and easy to do. Sean, can you show this again? Gonna be a little bit of cleanup with that melted icing, but since I greased the pan so well, I think, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal cleaning that out. All right, so let's see if we can, we got that icing to drip down. Now let's just see how our cleanup is. We'll get this water hot. Just wanna see how easily, oh, there's nice hot water. I don't know if that was like a fatal mistake on my part that I let that icing drip in. It's coming out, but with a little bit of elbow grease and work. Not so bad. That spot's not coming out so easy. So I don't know, in retrospect, I would have put the icing on, not in the pan. But now this nice hot water is just melting the icing again. So there's the secret. Not so bad. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna burn my hand. There you go. Fill it up with hot water. Let that icing melt again. pan is clean and ready to go for the next cook. Love this thing. Everything about that was simple and fun and easy. All right. I'm you ready. ready to try these? I'm ready. Cameraman first. Gotta feed your cameraman. It's mm. a rule. I'll take one of the burnt Yeah, ones. I like this one. This one looks good. That one like expanded so nicely. And look, there's just a little, tiny little bit of burnt. I caught it right at the right amount of time. I 15 minutes. I don't even know if I really call that burnt. Like full on burnt. Yeah. All right, dude. Those are so good, man. Yeah, they are good. These are so good. Like, I mean, homemade's got to be better. But these are so good. No, Straight these are from this. great. At the campground, they taste even better. I won't mutilate this thing next time. <laughs> so this is the first time I've ever used that. So easy to use. It went well. These are so delicious, dude. I have a little milk, too. So everybody, if you like this video, please like the video subscribe and please leave us a comment it helps so much and we will see you next time at the campground at the campground on the rv atlas thanks for joining us